Hi, I'm Marcel. Welcome back to The Pulse. One of the most commonly requested video topics on the channel has been TMG. People want to understand why they should be taking it with NMN, what does it do for you, and really, what is it? TMG is trimethylglycine, and it's also known as betaine. Your body produces TMG naturally, and supplementing it has been shown to have many different health benefits over the years. In fact, the studies of TMG date well before NMN sort of became a thing the last three or four years. You can find TMG studies dating back over a decade, and it was already shown to have a lot of health benefits, exercise benefits, healthy liver, healthy heart, exercise performance, and that it can reduce fatigue boost protein production, and also increase creatine, which provides energy to the muscles. Now, why supplement to begin with is a question that we should sort of address while we're addressing the TMG, because TMG does exist naturally in the body and also in some foods that we eat. But supplementing has kind of become a thing as a wine producer, a local wine producer I was talking to recently was telling me, he was asking me about what I was doing because a lot of people notice that I've lost weight. I go out to the tennis club and I look a lot thinner. I look a lot more uh, toned up and people are asking me what I'm doing. And so when I explain that I'm taking these different supplements based on polyphenols, this one wine grower told me, oh my gosh, we have this issue with grapes. They have less and less polyphenols and this affects the flavor of the wine. And so it's a hot topic already with wine growers that the quality of the soil in our environment has reduced and reduced, and this is impacting the plants and their ability to create these essential polyphenol plant molecules. So taking dietary supplements is more and more a good idea across the board. And that's, I don't, I don't think it's accidental that so many of us have found ourselves in the position of taking supplements like TMG. TMG, as I said, can assist with exercise. Exercise boost is good for a healthy metabolism. So if you're taking the supplements, you really should exercise. First of all, that's a big part of the whole purpose to take the supplements is to exercise. But also exercise helps you process the supplements. So it becomes this sort of positive feedback loop where one helps the other and helps the other. Now, as I mentioned... TMG exists naturally in many foods, uh, wheat bran, wheat germ, wheat bread, spinach, beets, quinoa, shrimp are just some of the examples. Wheat is something that not everyone can have if you're gluten intolerant. The Do Not Age TMG does not have wheat. Now, I can't speak to TMGs from other brands. I can just say that I took uh, a now brand of TMG and uh, first of all, the capsules started to split open over just a, after just a couple months, which was obviously a big red flag. The other thing about that brand is that I felt every time I took it, I felt like I drank two cups of coffee. So I'm not sure what was going on there. I naturally, I was running out. And then I started ordering NMN and resveratrol last year from Do Not Age. So out of convenience, because it's not that expensive to get their TMG, I started getting TMG from them as well, and I noticed I wasn't getting that caffeine feeling or that you know coffee feeling from it. So basically, it had just agreed with me a lot better than the Now brand. Uh, a lot of these brands are sold on Amazon, and a lot of these supplements have been shown to be fake. So I'd be very careful with this brand and others. As a matter of fact, I've specifically seen this brand flagged for some questionable purity levels in some of their supplements. So again, be very careful with those. Now, according to Dr. Sinclair, NMN can negatively impact your body's ability to provide proper methylation, which TMG can help with. So I'll let him describe why he takes TMG along with NMN to help prevent that. To raise NAD levels, what we've done in my lab, mice for the last decade, is we give them precursors to AD. So we give them molecules like nicotinamide riboside or NR, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, also known as NMN. And uh, so NMN is, is what I take each day. I take a, a gram of it. But the thing with nicotinamide mononucleotide NMN is that it, it has this nicotinamide group on it. It hangs off the, the main part of the chemical. And it's the first bond to break. And so 
we see in animals and even in humans that the levels of nicotinamide go up quite rapidly after taking NMN or NR. And too, lo too high levels of nicotinamide are not good, um, in part because the nicotinamide gets excreted through the kidneys and it's done so, that happens because it becomes methylated into methyl nicotinamide. And methyl nicotinamide has been used for, for years as a marker of all sorts of things, in, including at least experimentally for Parkinson's disease. Is this drain of methyl nicotinamide a problem? The, the methyl groups are, are needed for the body. We need methyl for a whole range of things, including um, antioxidants. And uh, so as a precaution, I take trimethylglycine so that uh, I continue to give my body a source of methyl groups. Uh, people ask me all the time, I take it as a precaution because I know that trimethylglycine is not going to hurt me. Glycine is good, as you mentioned, Joe. Um, and the other thing is trimethylglycine is also known as betaine, uh, which on human cells is very good for them, um, including protecting them against stress. So I don't, I don't see any downside. It's not an expensive molecule. And the upside is that I'm preventing my body from being drained of methyl groups. So I do take it as a precaution.